Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you, but if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. Or you can get a personal reading. Um, all that information is in the description box, so please do read that before, before emailing me about it. All right, so let's see. Cancer, what is going on? Also keep in mind the roles can be reversed. And let's see, Cancer for April. All right, we have self-worth and we have forgiveness. All right, so somebody Somebody is really working on their self-worth here and possibly also forgiving. And I feel like this might even have to do with forgiving one's own self. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Because it could also be um, one of you forgiving the other person or feeling like, like you want to be forgiven. So let's get into it and find out. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of April. Alright, so for the situation, we have the Knight of Wands crossed by the King of Cups. Alright, so somebody seems to be very um, unstable emotionally. It could be that there has been a lot of um, instability when it comes to how someone expresses their emotions or just their emotions being all over the place, like feeling one way one minute and then, you know, the next day just feeling completely different or just not even being able to manage the emotion. So it could be you, could be them. We'll find out, hopefully. Recent past, we have the moon and in the near future, we have the six of wands. All right, okay, so it feels like in the recent past, there was either... There could have been some secrets here, something that you felt or they felt was being hidden or that somebody just wasn't really being honest or upfront. That's how this is coming through to me. Coming up though, we do have some kind of a victory or just something feeling like something feeling like it's resolving or just feeling like you can, yeah, like resolve a situation or just feel like you can win when it comes to an aspect in this um, connection. For you, we have the Emperor. For them, we have the Six of Swords. More about you is the Two of Wands. For them is the Knight of Cups. And potential outcome here is the Empress. All right, interesting. We have both the Emperor and the Empress out. So I do feel like this is a pretty strong connection here. Um, For you, I, it feels like there's something that you're waiting for and it could be that, you know, it's like you're, you, you might be holding on to this a little bit um, strongly. We'll see. I don't want to say too much about that until we clarify. For them, the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's been an issue here that has caused a little bit of emotional turmoil, um, either for the both of you or for one person. And I feel like this person just really wants to move away from that conflict. It could be that they're avoiding conflict um, or it may be even just bypassing that, you know, something has happened and then just trying to come in and be um, very sweet, very romantic or open up emotionally. Um, but it's not necessarily bad. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're escaping, but they could be for some of you. Either way, the intention behind this is that this person does want to, to resolve some kind of a conflict here that has happened um, between the two of you. All right, and for the potential outcome, we do have the Empress. So we'll see. I have a feeling that that's you just um, kind of Kind of really wanting to just 
be the best that you can be and find your own self. Almost like even being um, independent, regardless of whether you are with this person or not. Like you just want to feel more independent and more good about yourself. And I do see you doing that because you do have the emperor here. It's just coming off as a little bit as a strong energy. Let's see. And don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right. All right, so let me clarify the Knight of Wands with the King of Cups. All right, we got quite a few here. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Chariot, which is your energy here, and Strength. Yeah, I, it feels like if there is communication between the two of you, I feel that the, it's like this This communication has been emotionally um, burdened. Like there was just really, really strong emotions that came through. And this is what can distort things because it, I feel like these emotions were a little bit... Um, it's like it's like the impulsive emotions that come up, you know, when something has happened. And then those impulsive emotions were expressed in a very powerful way. And this can cause triggers um, to the other person. And then that person may also respond in that type of a way as well. And then it can just create a lot of this, um, a lot of tension is the way it's coming through here for me. So, I, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's, it might not seem like it's a big issue here. It's not like, you know, the major um, theme of your connection with this person. But I feel like it is, this reading is tapping into a minor aspect of what it, what might be happening um, at the moment. All right. So I do feel like there is an issue here with communication and feelings just being so intense, so strong about something that they can just come out very, very um impulsively pretty much and in a very very strong way so either you or your person let me see the moon in the recent past all right we have the star we have the page of pentacles and we have the six of wands yeah, so something, I feel like something was hidden here, and I feel like, you know, even though whoever was hiding something, and it could even just be their one aspect of their feelings, so what was expressed here very powerful, powerfully, it could have been, um, you know, for example, it could have been anger. I'm just giving an example. It could have been anything. So that may, that side of their emotions may have been expressed, whereas a different aspect of their emotions may have been hidden. For example, how much they would really want to have this, all right? How much they wish that that this connection could just really be um, healthy and strong. But I feel like whatever it is that, that was hidden here, I feel like it came from a bit of an immature um, side of this person. There was a little bit of um, ego involved here and I feel like that's why we have the Six of Wands at least here. So it could have been some pride, it could have been some ego um, holding back for that reason. Let me take a look at your energy here. Let's see the Emperor. See, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, ooh, the Seven of Wands, and the Empress. All right, I'm telling you guys, definitely very power, there's a very, very strong, powerful um, essence here between the two of you. I feel like there's so much tension, there is just so much powerful stuff, and I feel like a lot of that powerful stuff is positive, and then a lot of it is also negative. Like, that's just how it comes out. Um, 
again, I just want to say this one more time. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, okay? Um, and also, I know some of you cross watch, so yeah, take it as it resonates. But what I'm seeing here for you, the Cancer, I mean, I do feel like you're standing in your power, and, and you know, that, that can be a very positive thing, but it's also coming through to me with a little bit of um, defensiveness, which I picked up here in the past as well. So it could be that it was your person that was defensive, for example, and, and so now you're being defensive, or it could be that this was you as well here in the past. Um, it comes off as a little bit, um, with this energy of wanting to really control the situation, which can come, it can be rooted in, from a good place, like you, like your intentions behind this might be really positive, you know, to help yourself and to want to, you know, stand in your own power. But sometimes that can also be a way of avoiding um, how you truly feel or avoiding pain. Um, because what I'm seeing here is just very, very stern energy um, from you. And it's, you know, it's difficult for me to say this because I, if, if this is you, I feel that for the most part, when somebody is in this energy, it's very hard for them to actually see that in themselves. Um, it's one of the difficult sides of us to actually be able to perceive and accept and it's not again it's not bad you know it's there to help protect you but tapping into it and allowing yourself to see that will help you to heal and will help you to use this powerfulness that you have in a way that's going to actually really make you feel good like that empress i feel like you just have you know this big wall up to protect yourself and it may come off as being very um, intimidating which again I mean it's okay and it's you know if you if you feel like you don't want to be with with this person for whatever reason you know I'm not saying to be you know very sweet to them or you know that's your call I'm just pointing out that there might be some defensiveness here, which is um, inhibiting you from being able to heal your your trauma here or the wounds that may have been created. All right, and I do also get that that's where the self worth may also come into play. Um, that sometimes you know we we put our guard up in order to protect our our self worth. But the more you work on your self worth, the more you will realize that you don't need to have this guard up in that way. You can be honest about how you feel to someone, but without being um, overly critical or harsh or intimidating, which will also help you to be more honest with your, with your own self. That's the message I'm getting here. Let me see this two of wands. But again, that could be your person, could be the other way around. All right, let's see, Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so you've definitely been hurt. You've definitely been hurt here. I feel, um, you know, maybe your person was a little bit in and out. Maybe they were a little bit impulsive. Uh, maybe they also had some harsh words and then so that made you react in a similar way um, to them or maybe something along those lines. But it's interesting because I feel like with that Two of Wands, see, it's like you, I feel that for the most part, deep down, you are still kind of waiting to see how this is going to resolve. I don't, I don't feel like you're, you're walking away from this, which is why I feel like this energy here is a defense mechanism. All right, at least for those of you that this, that this is resonating for, or it could be your person. Let's actually take a look at the other person here. Let me see the Six of Swords. The Ten of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Wands showing up again. All right, yeah, so it does look a little bit of avoidance here, um, a little bit of escapism. 
However, there is a lot of love here that this person carries. This person does want this Ten of Cups with you, all right? It does... They do feel that they, you know, that, that you fulfill them and that they do want this connection with you. They would want to heal this connection is also um, what's coming through, but... Again, it feels like there's a... It could be that there's anger. But there's anger here, and this is probably where forgiveness comes into play. Um, of course, it's your call if you want to forgive them, or or if you if you're the one needing to ask for forgiveness. But I feel like that is an issue here, regardless. Either way, your person is is really wanting this, and I do see them trying to come in here as this Knight of Cups. I see it as actually as, you know, this is how they are presenting themselves down here, all right? As the Six of Swords being distant, trying to escape the situation, even though they really feel this love for you. And it could be that they are engaging in some harsh words themselves, maybe, maybe not. But I do feel like there's a little bit of instability here and that they are upset emotionally as well. But what's really going on underneath that is that they hold all that love and would want to be able to come through and just, you know, um, lighten up the situation or just find that sweetness within the connection. Let's see, let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Judgment, and the King of Pentacles, I'm telling you. This just confirmed what I said. This person wants to come in. They want to come in. They want. To, they would want to take action. They would want things to be truthful. They want to have a reconnection here with judgment. They would want things there to be a rebirth within um, this connection. So, and they do want commitment. So I'm not trying to say that it. Oh, because I know I made you sound like you know you're you have this defense mechanism up and and that they want to come in and fix things. I'm not saying that everything is your fault and that you're doing everything wrong and that they're doing everything right, okay? So please don't take it that way. That's not at all what I'm saying. This is just their underlying intent. But as I said, it could be that they initiated something, maybe they did something in the past that caused a lot of defensiveness from your part because, because you were wounded, okay? That could definitely be a scenario here. I do see them being the ones wanting forgiveness. I see this, this energy for you as being a reaction to whatever it is that they were doing, um, which I feel was something very, um, that, sh that appeared very unstable, inconsistent, um, and lacking in some way, or just also very impulsive, maybe like some kind of an outbreak. And I feel like that's what caused you to be in this energy and this person would want your forgiveness but I don't know if they're actually asking for it. I feel like for the most part they probably will come in and express that. All right with that Knight of Cups. Let's see the Six of Wands for the near future. All right. The Ten of Wands, the Two of Wands, which was in your energy here, the Queen of Wands, got a lot, and the Two of Swords. All right, it's interesting because I do feel like there's going to be some kind of a resolution here with that Six of Wands. I feel like somebody is, okay, it's actually split 50-50. I feel like for some of you, you're, you know, there is going to be a resolution. Actually, it's not 50-50. For a few of you, there's, there's going to be some kind of a revolution, but a resolution, sorry. But for those of you where there is that resolution, I feel like there's still going to be a little bit of a struggle here because I feel like this resolution might still happen without without you actually having come to an agreement of some sort. I feel like it's going to happen in a way where it's going to be all right, you know, let's just kind of release this burden, it's, let's just forget about it, let's just avoid it, and let's just pretend like nothing happened. So in that case, you know, this situation could come back. Okay, so be mindful of that. For others of you, um, which is for the most of you, I feel like this is actually um, you continue, you, 
specifically, not this person, because I feel like this person's coming back in, um, trying to make up. I feel like you are still going to hold this energy of being a little bit um, defensive. That's just how it's coming through to me. Kind of like holding on to your... I almost want to say ego, but I don't want to say that. <laughs> just, you know, holding on to your pride maybe a little bit. Like, no, you know, I don't want this. I am going to be... I'm going to come out on top here. Not in the bad way, but just to protect yourself, as I said. And a part of that might be because you're just so tired of this, especially if this has happened before and it's it's repeating itself. But it's like you're still there, regardless. Like you're still going to be there kind of waiting for it. And then just... Not really being all that accepting. I feel like that's going to be your um, position here because you're going to want to stand your ground. And I can't judge that. That could be actually what is in your highest good. All right? You would know, especially if it's something that happens again and again and again. You know, because I do feel like there would need to actually be a consensus that you two reach in order for this to work and for this to stop happening and for it to not come back. All right, so let me see the Empress. Ooh, okay, King of Wands, and we just have the Queen of Wands here, so I do feel like, I mean, again, this is a, uh, I feel like this is a very um, triggering connection here, and it's triggering because I feel like there is, I feel like it is a very strong soulmate connection, and you are meant to trigger each other in order to have this growth. All right, because now we have um, the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Cups. Either way, you know, I feel like, yeah, what I said before, you, there has to be a resolution here. And I do understand why you would want to not just accept this person back too easily. Um, you want there to be a resolution. And I feel like that is what the message is here as well, that there's going to need to be a change. All right. Um, in the situation, whether it be from you, whether it be from them, in order for you to, you know, really be able to um, be happy here and be satisfied and find that fulfillment within each other. And honestly, I do see you moving in that direction. I do see you um, as that empress really knowing what your self-worth is and working on that. Even if you are a little bit defensive right now, you're moving towards really um, finding your self-worth and because of that, manifesting a change, even if that changes from the other person, if that makes sense. All right, Cancer, if this resonated, let's get your final message. <clears throat> All right, and we have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Yeah. You know, so it's okay. You know, be, just be mindful of the energy that you are in. And if right now this energy is serving you, then yeah, you are exactly where you need to be. And it's okay if you don't know how it is going to resolve. And, you know, even if you don't um, accept this person back, I, I do feel like there's still that possibility um, for this to come together in the future. But you, you can't know that. And that's okay, is the message. Just work on being that empress for yourself. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.